If you've read about permaculture, then you'll know that swales are tree growing systems. I've set up two swales here on my property, this one and that one over there. And they're fed from rain that comes off of my roof. I've got both of these berms planted with fruiting plants. This particular swell berm has quite a few fruiting trees on it, as well as some fruiting shrubs. As time goes on, I'll continue to add more and more fruiting plants to these berms, since they get a lot of water in those ditches right there. Most of the soil that has formed the berms came out of the ditch right there. Some of these have a little bit of organic matter in there that I've added, such as uh, old logs down at that end. Uh, there's some sunflower stalks and a little bit of aged manure on this end. Um, but for the most part, that's mostly native soil that's on there. There's not a whole lot of fertility in that soil. So I'm going to do a little experiment here to try to boost the nutrient level in the swell berm. What I'm going to do here is dig a hole, bury some food scraps that I've produced over this past week, and I'll cover it up. And next week I'll dig another hole in between those two trees and do the same thing and do that again a third week and then a fourth week down there. After the fourth week, I'll come back to this first hole, dig that up and see if, uh, see if the food scraps are still there, if there's uh, earthworms in there. Uh, I just want to kind of see what's going on down there. So when I check back a month from now, I'll let you know what I find out. Um, I don't plan to do anything special with this other than put the food scraps in and cover it up. If we get any rain in the swell ditch, uh, this berm's going to stay hydrated, so I'm not going to add any extra water there or anything like that. Alright, so I'm going to put the food scraps in the hole here. We had a bag of apples go bad, so I diced those up. That's about four or five apples there. So that, that's not typical. got my little pell here that I usually fill up every week. Um, a mango pit, mango uh, skin that I've chopped up, coffee grounds, tea bag, orange pills that I've chopped up, banana pills that I've chopped up. I'm just going to dump all that in there. So there's all the food scraps I'll be adding this week. That's mostly nitrogen based material. Uh, there are some carbon based items in there such as the tea bag paper that I've torn up and the, uh, the bags that hold in the tea leaves. I'm pretty sure that's probably a carbon material, but for the most part all of that's a uh, green nitrogen based material. I've got the food scraps covered up. I've got it marked with a flag so that I'll remember exactly where to dig it up. So I'll give you an update on this one month from now.